What's up everybody? It's episode 5. I forgot to record an intro. Here we go again. Like, uh, so today, well, it's still the last, it's still the same day as it was after the se last episode, but still, <laughs> continuity. Um, I set the oil drip out of the uh, gearbox, as you may see there. Uh, this is the drain plug. It is a uh, worrying amount of metal and small chips in the magnet right there. Is it worrying for a 37 year old motorcycle? Could be. I'm not entirely sure. Mm. I'm not too happy about the amount of oil that's in the gearbox, but it looks to be really clear oil. So, like, this stuff looks fairly new. So, uh, at least there's that. Maybe the metal chipping that's on the magnet is completely normal. There was one, like a bigger slice of metal, like a, maybe a millimeter by half a millimeter, like a chip, but you know, uh, we'll be taking the gearbox off anyway, so there's a good chance I'm gonna go through all of it at some point. But today's order of business is, I think I'm gonna start taking off the alternator, the starter engine, and uh, maybe, will take off the ignition coils. They're kind of they're kind of annoying when they just hang in there and it's not really good for the wires and everything even though I'm I will probably be replacing all the wiring for the spark plugs and all that stuff. So, let me just figure out the tools I need. It's going to be a lot of allen keys. I'm going to have to uh grab a piece of paper, write down all the sizes of the bolts and where they're located at, because I will be replacing all of those bolts. So I have to take note what the size is, the length, all that stuff. So I'm gonna let that oil drain for a while. Then I'm gonna just plug it in, plug the drain block, 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 block up. And uh, yeah. I guess that's that's what we're gonna do today. Let's start with the with the plastic cover right here. Uh, it looks like it's only with two four millimeter Allen bolts. Where's my Allen keys? There they are. Let's see if I can figure out a good spot for the camera. This is always the problem with filming anything for YouTube. Trying to set up your camera is infinitely more big of a pain in the ass than, you know, doing the work itself. I mean, obviously the, uh, the work isn't a big of a deal since I'm doing it. Hopefully y'all can see something through here. I know I can't, I can't see the viewfinder, so. But yeah, it's like, feels like setting up the camera sometimes takes more work than the work itself. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I lost one of my Allen keys, there it is. Actually, I lost two of my Allen keys. There's the other one. So the plastic cover, two four millimeter Allen keys or hex screws, bolts. Should come off fairly easy. I'm probably gonna use in the build this part again. Uh, it's gonna need a bit of a cleanup. What the hell? 
So it's gonna be cleaned up, repainted. I probably could figure out how to make my own cover plate here. God damn it. From like aluminum plate, aluminum or whatever. But I mean, this is already good enough. It's a little bit wonky in color since it's all like old plastic. Come on. So these are M4 and I'd say about 12 millimeters, 12 millimeters long. I'm gonna set them aside and catalog them later. Next, alternator. Looks like six millimeter Allen keys, Allen keys, bolts, at least three. There's one down here, that's, that's gonna be a problem. I mean, you probably can't even see what the hell am I do, how I'm doing. Ah, shit. We gotta figure out a better place for this camera. Uh, I wish I had my chest mount. Cause that would be just the easiest, cause I could just work and you could see everything that I'm doing. Uh, all right, I'll be right back. All right, that's pretty good. Seems to work. So yeah, uh, there's one bolt right here. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get to. I can get, get to it right like this, but I don't know if I can turn it. Um, Let's get rid of these first. I might have some extension arms for Allen keys somewhere in here. Where did I put the hammer? There it goes. Let's see, can we just, all right. Nice. That's a, uh, I think that's an M6. So it could be an M8 in about 40 millimeters long, 35. Set that aside. Catalogus. <laughs> Fucking catalogs. Come on. There we go. Come on. <laughs> there we go. I'm thinking I'm going to replace all of the bolts in the engine with. Like hex bolts, sure, but they will be uh, anodized into probably like a golden color. So I'm thinking that would probably look pretty cool. Now let's see here. Uh, do I have any tools that I could use? I gotta have something in here. If I take that one. Yeah, this is this is, this might actually work. Take that off. Extension piece. Another extension piece and Yeah, that should work just fine. There we go. Man if if I would have stripped this bolt, it would have been a nightmare to remove, like absolute disaster. Where 
in a lock that it came loose so easily. So there's the third one. Is there another one? Nope, that should be all. Yep. Now, are we dealing with... Nope. Like we there are some cable issues there, but nope. That came loose pretty ne neatly. Uh, I might have to replace this. Because I have a feeling that this doesn't produce enough electricity. I kind of remember reading from somewhere that the first alternators in the K100 series weren't powerful enough in producing electricity. Like the, I think this is like 27 amperes and uh, the later ones are like 30 something. No, this is 33 amperes. Well, either way, uh, I kind of remember seeing somewhere that this, these weren't good enough. And I, I could kind of tell it because when the bike was on idle, the, uh, the charging icon in the dash or the speedometer, whatever, always used to lit up. So that kind of tells me that this alternator isn't producing enough power. But we'll see. There's going to be so much stuff taken off the bike by the end that this might produce enough electricity. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Luckily, it's not that big of a deal to change if, if it ever comes to that. Now, the next off is the starter motor. And these are just five millimeter Allen bolts. And these don't seem to be tight at all. That's kind of scary. You always expect that pop when you start unscrewing something, especially if it's old. So this is just an M5 and I'd say M5 or M6. So that's an M5 and uh, 25 millimeter long. 30. I might actually have these bolts already at home. Like, yeah, this is the kind of tightness that you expect expect from. Yeah, that's what you want to hear most of the time. Let's see, is there anything else that holds the starter motor in? Ah, come on now. I wish I had one of those rubber mallets. Because I always feel bad punching these with a regular hammer. Come on. Come on. This might require some looking into. I'm not entirely sure if it's only these bolts that hold the starter motor in. Kind of wiggles around, but could it be that it's bolted in or some sort of a circlip or whatever on the other side? Could be. Well, there's that. I'll figure it out later. Uh, let's see here. Should we take the ignition coils out? That could make sense. Then I can start stripping off the gearbox. Yeah, all right, let's do that. So this is a pretty easy one. It's just a three, five millimeter hex bolts. I think I'm gonna just use the red shit. Should I? 
take care of which uh, spark plug goes into which ignition coil. I already have them marked on the ignition coils itself. Like which one is one, two, three, and four. But if there's a chance of losing the stickers or tapes or your markings on which cylinder is which, you know, play, better play it safe. Mark everything down. Let's see here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which way is it called. Is it like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four? Or which way around those are numbered? But doesn't really matter. I'm gonna label them my way. Let's get some paper here. <clears throat> Clean up some surfaces. Uh, oh shit. Almost sprayed brake cleaner in my eyes. That would have been fantastic. So I'm gonna clean up these tabs that are on the there we go now let's pull this first one out now since there's this tab here uh, I have a sharpie and I'm just gonna mark it down as number one Number one. Take the second one. Number two. Burger King foot lettuce. Let's take the number three. If we can. My hands are too big for this. Ooh, satisfying pop. Number three. Let's mark it here also. And last but not least, and number four. Come on, man. China number four. What the hell? <laughs> Why is it always the last one that's hardest? There we go. That's a number four. Wow, this Sharpie is already bust. It doesn't really matter if all the others are already marked, then you pretty much know <laughs> what the last one is going to be. So let's pull the wires out through here. Let's see how much of a pain in the dick this is. I mean, somebody got these through here, so I'm pretty sure I can get them out. Can I? What the hell? How are these? I don't really don't want to take the engine cover off. Son of a bitch. Wow. Wow, that's a that's a doozy and a half. What the hell? Would it be just e be easier to take them out the other way? Absolutely. It's fine by me. The connectors look really clean. Yeah, it's like 
you can really see the copper like pink nice number one copper there we go so that's the first ignition coil out and there we go and the last one perfect so that's that I think I'm gonna put the the cover on I don't I don't want to lose this this is gonna get a new paint job on it probably powder coating at some point but first like every single piece of the engine has to be taken off cleaned up you know all that stuff Come on. What the hell? Okay. These are M5s and 12 millimeter, but I don't have to write, write that down just yet. We can ba go back to tackling with the, uh, well, <laughs> with the uh, gearbox itself. It's gonna be, uh, I'd say about five or six of the bigger Allen bolts, and I can pretty much guarantee it's not gonna be just that easy that I just pop the bolts off and the whole thing comes loose it never is all right let's get back to the gearbox so all right um, the gearbox here it has six of these bigger allen bolts three on top three below at least that's what I could count might be seven uh, I'm gonna have a big sip of coke. Mm. Oh, it's cold, baby. I think I'm gonna give them a little quick spray with some lubricant. Mostly because I kind of don't feel like stripping any of these. And it'll make my life just a little bit easier. So it's a uh, M6, I think. Yeah, R6 millimeter. The bolt itself is probably M8. Uh, what's this? I have no idea. Is it supposed to be there? I guess. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Might have to switch to the old school Allen key here. I can bang it with a hammer, give it a little bit of that notch. Yeah, 
I'm gonna give myself a tennis elbow if I try to do that. <sighs> Where did I put my keys? Keys, 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 please. What the hell? How do I keep misplacing my tools all the time? Son of a bitch. They were right here. Like I, they were right here. Just a minute ago. Oh, I wanted my leg. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Give it a little bit of a love tap. Make sure it's all the way there. And oh. God damn. more penetrating oil. I mean, it wouldn't make sense that these are tight, but Jesus Christ. Do I have to use like extensions here? Motherfucker. You will submit to my command. That's what I'm talking about. If all else fails, fucking brute force it. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. Come on. The last ones that are below the engine are gonna be a bit of a pickle. Mostly because it's kind of hard to first of all see what you're even doing and then putting the tool in there. Like, because these bolts can be just full of grime. This most likely is because I can't even get the Allen key to fit there. Yeah, that's gonna be full of grime. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna cut here and we'll be back when we start removing the gearbox. So, I'll see you then. So there we go, all the bolts are out. Uh, turns out you need to take out the, uh, like the kickstand and the center stand to get the bottom, bottom two hex bolts out. But the, uh, the kickstand and whatever is, it's just four, four of these, uh, eight millimeter hex bolts and uh, one little clip that holds the center stand or the kickstand to the to the clutch itself, the clutch relief thing. So now, basically, the gearbox should come loose. Um, I might have to strap the engine down. Because I have a feeling this is not gonna come out easy. Let's just make sure that I'm not splitting any important things here with the pressure of the strap so that's not something that you want to happen back there we go 
Let's see how this goes. I've already loosened up the gearbox just a tiny bit. I gave it a little couple taps with a hammer. Just just the re like really really light taps. You don't want to go banging the aluminum with the with a hammer unless it's one of those rubber mallets or some sort of a soft wooden hammer or whatever. It would be really useful to have one right now, but I don't. So I'm just gonna have to see if I can wiggle this loose. It's not tight enough. I can see a little gap forming here, but this side is not giving giving in. Now this is exactly what you don't want to do. But I don't have a choice. There's a good chance that I can't get this off on my own. But I'm gonna give it a good, good college try. Fuck, I wish the engine was strapped down better, but I don't have any other way than to just strap it down from here. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, oil pan. <laughs> Just in case we get some surprises here. Whoop. Something is holding it from the bottom still. But we're making progress. I'm just gonna keep tapping it. Do I still have a bolt here somewhere that I haven't noticed? Getting sweaty. Gonna need a shower. One, two, three, four. It should, it should be pretty loose. Maybe there is something. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. It was just a little bit of shimmying around and that got it. So there we go. Hold on. Oh. Woo -ah. That's the gearbox right there. And the dry clutch. The clutch looks very okay. And uh, the splines here are not too bad. Can't see any major wear and tear. Gonna need a whole lot of cleaning though. Like, there's a lot of grime here. Let's see, where's my spray cleaner? Paper. Huh. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
I will be tearing this whole thing apart, probably on some sort of a, a Twitch stream, because uh, I have better lighting and tools at home. And I need to ship all the engine parts that I can strip off to the powder coating at some point. So I will be cleaning this up when I get home. I think I almost can put the uh, engine into my car now if I can just lift it. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that's enough for today. That was a big hurdle to do to get the gearbox out. Ow. Ah, my back is fucking killing me. So yeah, I think that's that's enough for the day. Like this room is turning into a mess again. Um, I think I'm still gonna drop some oils out, out of the uh, oil pump, fuel, fuel pump, oil, oil and coolant pump there and uh yeah i guess I, I, I fuck it i'm gonna call it a day uh thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed uh like subscribe leave me a comment if you have tips and tricks that i should know uh ring the bell button ring my ding dong to get notified whenever I upload new stuff and go follow me on Twitch the link will be in subscri subscription description and I'm getting tired uh, the link will be in description uh, I will be doing like throttle body rebuilds uh, injector rebuilds cleaning up stuff you know all the minor smaller things on Twitch so yeah I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.